Hi everyone, Guy from Midwinter Minis here. In this video, I'm going to raid my storage shelves and lay bare every single box set and model in my collection that I haven't painted yet. And then I'm going to show it all to my girlfriend and see if she has any strong opinions about the situation. Last year, a cool YouTuber called Hendrik, who is now one of my awesome patrons, challenged me to show off my pile of shame. Now, this isn't something I would ordinarily be interested in doing, but as people who watched my last video will know, I've just made Midwinter Minis my full-time job. And, well, it's time to have a stock take. And this is all stuff I could make, kitbash, paint, and maybe even play with on the channel, so it's a good time to see how things stand. I'm also going to be keeping a running tally of the unpainted models as we go. Now I've got plenty of things that are built and primed, or partway through video tutorials, so we'll ignore those just for this video. I don't want to ruin any surprises for upcoming episodes. So let's just get on with it, shall we? Here's a nice empty table. First up, we've got the most recent acquisitions, a Start Collecting Craft Worlds box set, and this will be a great painting challenge. Apart from the Ranger in Blackstone Fortress, I've never painted Eldar before. It's also an easy 500 point army for future battle reports. Eight models so far. Next, we've got a Start Collecting Tau box set. Again, Tau haven't made an appearance on this channel yet, and this box set combined with something like a broadside would make a nice 500 point list for a battle report. But let's not talk about buying more models so early in the video, huh? That's the kind of talk that got me in this mess in the first place. 23 models just in this set, so that's 31 total. More boxes on the way. First, we've got the Speed Freaks box set. Now, I've already painted the Orc Barricades that came in this set way back in 2018, but I haven't touched the six bikers and two Orc vehicles in the box, so that's eight more. 39 unpainted models, oh no. I also have another Speed Freaks box, still sealed. Orcs are my main army, yeah, but I don't have many things that go fast, so I thought 12 bikes and 4 vehicles would be pretty useful, but yeah, I, I haven't even touched them yet. Oh, and there's also 6 terrain pieces in this box too. 53. This tally is going up pretty fast. Uh oh, another box set. This time it's Assault on Black Reach, the Warhammer 40,000 starter set from 2008. It has, uh, oh dear, 46 models all on sprue. Five boxes in and we're already at 99 models. Okay, I don't think I have many more big box game, oh no. Third edition Space Hulk, what are you doing here? 11 Terminators, a Librarian, 22 Gene Stealers and a Broodlord, three objective marker models and 20 plastic door pieces that need painted. That's 58 plastic models and bits in this box alone. Total so far, 157. I want to say last of the box sets, but that's a big fat lie. Here's the second edition 40k box that I'm going to be painting up in the classic 90s schemes, starting within the next couple of weeks. On the plus side, it's an awesome set. On the downside, 80 more models. Oh wait, I've also put three metal Space Marine leaders in there too, so 83. 240 unpainted models. Aha! Here we go, this is more like it. The Red Gobbo, a cool little Gretchen leader we bought when we visited Warhammer World last year. Just one model. Score. 241. Uh oh, a few more boxes. We've got the Cultists of the Abyss, that's eight models. No Respite, that's three Plague Marines and six Poxwalkers, that's another nine models. And if you didn't think that was enough nurgly goodness, we've got First Strike. So that's another six Poxwalkers, three Plague Marines, but with six Space Marines thrown in for good measure. We've also got the Servants of the Abyss box set. Uh, 17 enemies from Blackstone Fortress in this. So those four box sets jump the running total up to 290. This is getting a bit embarrassing and I'm not even close to being finished. Up next, the Gangs of Kamara game which packs 6 Reaver jet bikes and 10 Helion skyboarders. That burst us through the 300 mark pretty quick, huh? 306. Okay, let's have a quick break from the 40k universe and even from Games Workshop. This is Sky Tear, a cool MOBA inspired board game that I'd love to do a speed paint episode on one day, but hey, that's another 25 miniatures to add to the total. 331 and counting. Now let's look at a few assembled models that I haven't at least primed. Here are two Death Dreads and six Killer Cans from the Orc Apocalypse box set. I can't wait to fill these boys with my Stomper and Gorkonaut up against Ant's Imperial Knights. Anyway, getting carried away there, another eight models to add to the total, 339. I've also got two part-made Armager Warglaives that came in Forgebane. I'm eventually going to paint these up to match my knight I recently painted, but for now, they're just waiting their turn, 341. 
Okay, now we get to the seriously shameful but well organized stuff. Storage boxes full of sprues. Here's the contents of big sprue box number one. Now there's tons of these discontinued War Games Factory Great Coat Shock Troop sprues that I used to bulk up my old Imperial Guard army. Not many full models left to make, just loads of spare bits. Now there are six heavy weapon guys ready to be made though, so I suppose I have to count them. 347. There's also these discontinued War Games Factory Apocalypse Survivors Mail that I used for a Necromunda gang. There are 12 models left on the sprue though, 359. Also, same company again, this random skeleton warrior sprue has five models left to build on it. Realistically, I'm going to use them for basing bits, but I still probably should count them, right? 364. Okay, so there's also the sprues from the Warlord Games Terminator Genesis box set that I got for a crazy deal a couple of years ago. 10 Terminators and 12 Resistance Soldiers. Another potential easy speed paint episode for the future, maybe, but this is just sitting on the shelf right now. That's the total up to 386, and we haven't even opened sprue box 2. Okay, let's dive in. Ah yes, the kill team box. So here we've got two of the Admex sets that came with the old Forgebane box set. I got two of them because I wanted to bulk up my sandstone necrons, which, to be fair, I did do, and they're all painted. Also, there's the team that was included in the Admech vs Gene Stealer Cult Kill Team box set. So that's two Tech Priest Dominus models and 30 Skatari Rangers. 10 from Kill Team, 20 from two Forge Bane sets, 418. So this box also has Gene Stealer Cult Neophyte Hybrid Sprues, uh, one I bought when they came out to supplement the ones that came with the Death Watch Overkill set, and also another sprue that came with the Kill Team set, so that's another 20 models, 438. Hmm, so that's Sprue Box 2 out of the way. Unfortunately, there's another sprue box. Oh, let's see what this has inside it. First off, I've got most of an Age of Sigmar Savage Oryx set. I used it to kitbash some of the characters I have in my 40k Orc army. Since I only used three of them though, there's 17 left. 455. I've also got a Space Marine Land Raider waiting to be built and painted. Now, I can't decide if I want to corrupt it for my Bringers of Decay or add it to my Dark Angels army. Anyway, it's a big one, but thankfully it's only one model. 456. I've also got a few of the Death Watch characters left from the Death Watch Overkill box. Just five though, so not too bad. 461. Also, sticking with Space Marines, I've got some of the Primaris Force that came with Dark Imperium. Truth be told, I haven't built any of these yet. I just sold the ones I definitely didn't want. Not a huge fan of the Space Marine redesign to be honest. Maybe I'll paint these for a giveaway or something. Anyway, another 14 models. There's also a Dark Angels Company veteran sprue that I got in a random box of bits from a friend, and I wanted to use these for my Dark Angels successes, but yeah, still on sprue. Sorry boys. 480 so far. Okay, I feel like we're maybe edging closer to the finish line here. Next up, another vehicle, this time an Imperial Guard Tarox. I was going to paint this up to match my old Imperial Guard army, but I sold the whole lot before I actually got round to it. This survived though, but it isn't really compatible with any of my armies that I currently run. Maybe this one can be sold off? Spoken like a true addict, 480 models before I choose one to get rid of. A few months ago I painted the whole Galapox infected kill team for the Rogue Trader box set, but I've still got the terrain sprue left to sort out. That's 26 bits of terrain, and let's not forget the Star Striders kill team that also came in the set. That's another 10 models, busting us right through the 500 mark. I've also got the pipe sprue that came with the Necromunda Dark Uprising set. Obviously it's modular, but it definitely creates six distinct pipe sections. So let's call that 523. Also, still on the Necromunda Dark Uprising set, I've got the Palanite Forces and the Corpse Grinder Cult still on sprues. And I've got some pretty cool plans for these, but they came out during a crazy busy release period with my previous day job, and these models just fell by the wayside, unfortunately. Okay, now it gets a bit complicated. I ordered this Pegasus Hobbies chemical plant set on eBay, and it arrived in a plain cardboard box with no instructions, and it's bloody huge. So many sprues, so many pipes, so many vats. I'll make something awesome with this eventually, but for now it's still on sprue. Now, how many models is this? I mean, strictly it's one kit, but I'll probably divide it between a few different terrain projects. So let's say five. Yeah, five. All right, almost at the end. Here's a Rise of Ruins set I bought recently to bulk up the terrain I can use in our battle reports. 
Six wall sections, two barricades, and two bunker entrances, so that's another 10 models. 564. Finally, I've got all of these Chaos Space Marines and Plague Marine models that came with Dark Imperium and Shadow Spear that I haven't added to my Bringers of Decay yet. That's another, oh uh, no dear, 28 models. And that's it, thankfully. I mean, I think there's probably a few stowaways here and there, but yeah, there we go. The grand total of 592 models that are either still on the sprue or assembled but bare plastic. Pretty eye-opening, to be honest. Now let's see if my girlfriend Penny has any uh, choice words to share about this. I've blindfolded her and brought her into the room. Okay. Right. Right. Blindfold coming off in three, two, one. Oh God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> You can make a shop out of that. <laughs> At least a couple of aisles, probably. Oh my god. <laughs> Loads of it still in cellophane. Why do you even buy these things? Addiction? Definitely, this has become a problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first step. Admitting you have a problem. So, uh, all in all, this is 592 unpainted models. 592. <laughs> Ugh. I already said if it was one a day and it would make more than a year, so 365, you had to give the rest away. So when's the giveaway, guy? <laughs> how how about we set a date for that being the case and... And then we reassess. And then we reassess. You'll probably have bought more. No, no, but if... <laughs> if what? If I can rapidly paint a lot of things before that date. No, you're not allowed to buy anything else. No, you, no, if you get it to less than 365, you can't then go, ha ha, I'm going to buy a new one. So what's the maximum amount I'm allowed to have before I buy more? <laughs> no, that's, that's ridiculous, because you'll just keep buying more. I think having 50 that you haven't done anything with is ridiculous. Wait, is that 50 or 15? 50. 50? So I only have to paint, like, 542 models <laughs> before I can buy more. Yeah. Oh no. Stop buying. I'm addicted. You have to face your addiction. I've got a problem. No, it's no joking. I wanted to swear, but I don't know if I'm allowed. No joking. <laughs> That's not a phrase. I definitely think you should see how many you could paint in a week. Yeah, that might be quite a fun challenge. Like, uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of things. Do, the, li do the little ones. Because if you've got big ones... There's a lot of terrain that bumps the numbers up, to be fair. Oh, so what have you, so what have you counted as one piece of terrain? Well, that's uh, quite a contentious <laughs> point. <laughs> so this actually could be thousands. <laughs> I called that a massive box of pipes and things. Just one? Five. Five? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's just five. <laughs> you, should, you should work out how many are people. Because terrain you can do in a big batch, maybe... Maybe. I think you should do how many people-y things or robots or whatever's, whatever's, you know. I'm so down with the lingo. Can you paint in a week? Okay, one week challenge coming up. One week up. challenge. That's what's going to happen. Stay tuned, subscribe so you don't miss it. One week challenge. It's going to be thrilling. Oh my god. Will you help? Mm. That's a yes, folks. <laughs> So we had a lot of new patrons join us very recently. Uh, in fact, our Patreon almost doubled in size, which is pretty crazy. So there's quite a few names to read out in this episode. So please enjoy some riveting footage of our dog lazing in the sun <laughs> while we read out some names of very cool people. So thank you very, very, very much to Matthew Rouse, Adam, Gwen Pettigrew, Lopsucks, Robin Blackwell, Theo Goddard, R. Young, Trent Skorka, Robertson Wells, Elling Nurkelby, Sean Morgan, Kaspar, Thomas Mayo, Shemislav, Torbjörn Rasmussen, Chris Hogan, Harrison Fire, Matthew XOM613 Hunter, Moz, Derbardin Felschwalter, David Espinoza, Lukey Boy, Samuel Young, Charles Watson, Bill Murray, woohoo! Josh King, Preston Snow, David Sullivan, Maximilian von Darden, Cam LaForest, Noah Atkins, Roa, Scott Clender, Robbie Gibson, Joe Flitton, Edward Holtam, Mike Sprague, Daniel Ridings, Nate Sloth, Matt Loafer, Pavel Strashnikov, Damien Parry, Kyle Ambler, Cornelius Perkins, Johannes Monkenbush, 
Alex Graham, Christopher Warren Cheney, Alan Roncoroni, Michael Fletcher, Ewan Smith, Alan Huang, Andrew Blake, Grimgar, Ralph Payne, Dr. P. It's me! Nelson Pepper Hickman IV. Jem G, or G, Callum Brunel, Amir Pakdel, Carrie Boo, Andrew Trousdale, Callum, Ryan Atherton, Joseph Cortez, Josh Reynolds, Magnus Dalen, Edward, Cobman25, Alexander KOT, Fiddly, ha, Richard Millington, Kevin, Jameson Bell, Hot Dog Town, David Delp, Nick Thomas, and Sophia Solimosi. Thank you all so much, and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now. Bye!